I want to make art and I find it's really important for me to be able to have that creative release to express feelings and ideas and emotions and things like that that I just can't normally can't express in words basically. Uh, my name's Glenn Davis, I'm a sculptor, I've mainly done stone carving for the last about 15 years. Uh, I do a bit of wood carving as well sometimes and occasionally some painting and drawing. Uh, I live up here in Matakana, I've got a studio set up here where I make these pieces of artwork. So what I'm going to do with the grinder is I'm going to come through and cut off all the angles on the top of there so that will be cut through there and then again through here and through that way and through that way and then again on the other side as well so eventually it's going to be like a, a sphere that's just been slightly flattened down. Lately I've been starting my pieces by finding the stone and finding a, a solid geometry within the stone whether that's a circle or an ellipse or a sphere and then I work through that geometrically by, by working through the lines and um, drawing the pictures up on uh, computer and 3D programs and then go into the piece of stone with those dimensions and, and cut everything out. Okay, so again I'm just drawing the lines in that I've uh, generated off the program there and just gives me a guideline of where to cut and just keeps everything nice and, and tight and clean. The next step once I get it reduced down is to try and um, try and get it uh, really really smooth and symmetrical and, and spherical and you really notice if you if you're even just a couple of millimeters out it can end up looking quite quite wrong and quite silly. I like the freedom of being able to take a raw material, something that, that's just come out of the ground, that's been around for millions and millions of years, and, and work it and, and put my theory and my idea and express my forms over the top of it. I normally do work in stone, um, but I like to work in a variety of different stones because each different stone's got its own sort of different set of techniques to work on. So this is a commission that I've been asked to do for the Anglican Church, and these three pieces of uh, sculpture are going to be installed in the bishop's private chapel. And some of those hard stone pieces were, I find are really challenging. This stuff here is relatively easy in terms of skill level to be able to do, but some of the other harder stones are, are very, very challenging to work. And you have to be very conscious all the time of the different grains of the stone and the way that the lines are laying and, and things like that. And keep all those things in mind while you're making them and try not to have your thoughts distracted too much by general sort of daily living kind of things. Uh, this was done at uh, Wood Sculpture Live at Takapuna Art Centre for a sculpture symposium that's held down there. And this piece here was was talking about energy waves and how two energy waves can operate synergistically. It was quite a large log, it was probably about about that high, it was about 750 mils on one end of it and about 650 on the other and the piece that uh, stands up um, high and uh, it's sort of floating in mid-air. I get a lot of inspiration from being out here and it's, it's very peaceful so if I need to sit down and think about my ideas or I need to sit down and draw then that's fine, I can do that but it also means that if I need to pick up angle grinders and power tools and make a lot of noise at any time of the day or night, I can do that as well and I have the freedom to, to be able to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm.